Hi guys, this is Shumon from ASA Technical. In this tutorial, I am going to show you by installing a WD M.2 SSD by using M.2 SSD enclosure as a primary hard drive. In our previous tutorial, there I showed a complete installation guide for M.2 SSD to 2.5 inch SATA 3 SSD enclosure. So before watching this second part, please check out our previous tutorial link in the description below. And I'm sure these two tutorials will definitely help to make your old laptop super fast. Alright, to install this M.2 SSD enclosure for a laptop, at first look at the laptop's traces button. If you see, there's an access panel, then you can easily replace a storage drive of a laptop. But in some cases, some thin or light design laptop don't come with access panel on the chassis, which has happened in my case. In that case, you will need to remove the entire chassis uppercase or chassis button case to replacing a storage drive. So let's do that. At first, shut down your laptop and then unplug the AC adapter cable. After that, remove the battery. Then press and hold down the power button for 30 seconds to drain all the residual power from the system. After that, unscrew all the Phillips head screws by using a Phillips head screw driver from the button side of the laptop and remove the optical drive if needed. Alright, after unscrewing, open the laptop's chassis uppercase by using a plastic pre tool. And please don't use screwdriver to open the chassis uppercase. Now open the chassis hour case just very little and very gently disconnect all the connected cables including the keyboard and the touchpad cable. After that, gently remove chassis uppercase and also you can remove and replace the keyboard and the touchpad if they need to be repaired. Ok, now I will remove the USB board's flat flex cable to replace the hard drive module. After that, I will be unscrewing two screws to separate the hard drive.
Okay, now I just separate the hard drive from hard drive bracket and I will be adding ANSATA M.2 SSD with ANSATA 3 M.2 SSD enclosure instead of this hard drive. As you can see, hard drives and SATA 3 M.2 SSD enclosures, both the size is same. So there should not be any problem. Alright, now I just insert and connect this drive. And I have already made this drive as a boot device using an SATA second brick caddy. And don't worry, you can easily make this drive as a boot device after turning on your computer. And also you can migrate a copy of your operating system from your old HDD to the SATA M.2 SSD. If you want, you can check out our channel. There's a detailed tutorial on how to migrate a copy of your operating system. However, now lock this hard drive bracket with the fixing screws. Once done, next very gently place the chassis uppercase and reconnect all the cables that you have disconnected. And please do everything very gently. After that, gently close the chassis uppercase and reattach all the Phillips head screws from the bottom side of your laptop. Once done, next reinstall the main battery and turn the laptop right side up and make sure to reattach the AC adapter cable and then turn on your laptop. Now let's check how much faster this non M.2 SR as per E15 after installing an SATA M.2 SSD with an SATA 3 M.2 SSD enclosure. Ok, as you can clearly see, the boot was very fast. It took like 5 to 10 seconds for the usual visuals to appear.
all right as you can see all the applications are responding pretty faster now let me show you the last bios time of this computer all right the last bios time was 3.9 seconds so what do you think let me know in the comment section hope you like this video if you have any questions then please let me know in the comment section please like comment share we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thanks for watching have a nice day